So today is a bit of a pajama day, not doing my hair, I'm wearing some nice fresh clean pajamas. It's comfy, it's great. <laughs> um, I've been thinking about my sketchbooks and stuff and how, you know, I showed this again recently, my, my it's sort of like a written journal slash just planning things out. It's just a place for thought dumps, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to merge that with a sketchbook. I guess almost like an art journal of sorts, although different people do art journals different ways. Some are more just like collages of things they find with like pretty quotes and stuff. Others are more like a sketchbook or chronicling what they actually did, so like a little more journal-like, you know? I don't know, there's different ways people can do it, but I just thought it'd be fun to merge all my planning stuff and thought dumps with a sketchbook. And so I'm just trying to decide what one to use for now because obviously once my own are made, I'm gonna use those, but th we're still in the very early stages of that project, so those are not gonna be coming out anytime soon. So in the meantime, I need to decide what one I'm using. And I'm kind of torn between this sucker here. This one's more than half used. I think this is a, yeah, this is about where I'm at here. This was the last spread. The pages aren't all in order. And I think there's a few blank pages I left before that. Like I saved some brown pages that I was gonna go back to and, and a few blank ones. But for the most part, <laughs> this size all used. So that's an option. It is small, which would be a little bit closer to the size of my square one. Probably not really. I picture the square one being a, maybe a little smaller than this. Just a touch. This might be an eight by eight. I wouldn't maybe like seven by seven or something. I, I don't know. I haven't drawn out that stuff yet. I haven't planned that out yet. So that's an option. Um, then there's also this crescent render one, which is huge, huge pages, but it has few, like fewer pages left in it because it just doesn't have that many to begin with. And so it's a little less intimidating and mm, I don't know, <laughs> I was about to say it'll maybe be mostly full by the time the sketchbooks come out and then I'm like, will it though? It depends how much I use it, I suppose. I also got this really nice one for Christmas and it's got the cream pages, which I like. Like I like, I kind of like this, they do this paper more than the render one, but I might save this and go with this one, I think. This is what I'm leaning towards. If I want to do a nice marker illustration, I could do it on a separate piece of paper. I just do keep artwork separate from sketchbooks. I usually don't do my Copic stuff in a sketchbook if it's some like big fancy finished thing. But if I do want something fancy in here, I can do it on cardstock and tape it into the book, either as its own extra page or taped onto an existing page. Like there's options there. So I think that's how I might do it. But I think it's good for writing stuff out, especially with like ink pens and stuff since it does have the no-show through paper and yeah, this will be kind of like the practice round before the, the nice sketchbooks come. <laughs> and I can do more plans for those sketchbooks in here. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is the one I'm going to go with and I want to start, I just want to start on it. I don't know what I'm doing. Do, should I work on the cover? Should I, should I just fill more of the inside? kind of just want to start filling in the inside. I really want to write in different colored ink pens. I just want to, I just wanna. I've got some Sharpie pens. I've got some of these, what are they? The Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners. These sparkly Spica pens, Spica, those guys. Um, yeah, there's a lot in here I could use and my Copic multi-liners and whatnot, and just do little doodles. I just feel like doodling, doodling today. Okay, there was no audio. That's great, but it's fine. We have the ability to re-record. I haven't really done anything yet. <laughs> I was just writing down this, and then I was gonna write the size I want, and then I'm like, wait, I haven't established the size I want yet. I know roughly, but gotta get it figured out, and I kinda want it based off of box sizes also based off just what I want I know I want it to be a little bit smaller than this guy here and the covers eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and the interior pages are eight by eight and so I cut out this square that's seven and a half by seven and a half so this could be the cover size maybe that'd be the safest bet because I would probably put some kind of sleeve around the sketchbooks like a paper sleeve like glassine or just whatever some kind of paper sleeve maybe and that leaves some room for that. And then the pages could be seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. 
Alternatively, I could get slightly bigger boxes, but also these boxes are not deep enough to hold two sketchbooks in case someone gets two. So I looked online and there are deeper ones that are about this size, so that's good. This would also have rounded corners. I have a corner punch somewhere. Don't know where it is. Well, I guess two corners would not be rounded. <laughs> the corner that's, the side that's bound would not have rounded corners. So I kind of screwed that up. See, so if the pages are seven and a quarter, they would come out to here. Like this actually probably would be pushed out a little further towards the edge because of the binding. Mm, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I like that size, so sweet. Convert 7.5 inches to millimeters. 7.5 inches is 190.5 millimeters. We'll just round down to 190. Well, I'll just write exact and then when I order it, I can <laughs> round that down. <laughs> 7.25 inches is equivalent to 184.15 millimeters. The sun is slowly being more aggressive and I gotta keep closing my blinds further and further. This could have been drawn in here, I suppose. This is big enough. <laughs> I could tape it in. Cream paper, rounded corners, two designs to start with. And I hear you guys about the earthy colored mushroom one. I might still make it earthy colored. It kind of depends how the flower one turns out, to be honest, because I want two different designs for the first one, like two, two designs that are quite different from each other. And if I do end up going with pastel mushroom, I will revisit an earthy mushroom design in the future because that's what inspired me in the first place was the colors of the mushroom DIYs in Animal Crossing. It could be revisited, but as a different mushroom design. I don't really want to do two color variants of the same thing, so we'll see. I could do something else with that same purple pastel design if I want. I could even make the flowers that color and then go back to earthy for this. For the timeline, I'm gonna say design covers and end papers. Uh, I'll give myself one week. Let's say by January 15th. There's really no reason why it should take longer than that. Then source a manufacturer. The rest of the timeline will depend on manufacturing, aiming for second store update of the year. Ooh, I know what I forgot to write. Wait, which one was I writing with? I don't know. This one probably. Sewn binding. For paper, I will need samples mailed to me. My cardstock is a hundred pound cover. I feel like I wouldn't mind going with 60 to 70 pound cover. But I'm gonna need to do some tests here. Like, I need physical samples. Okay, I also added designs may have to be tweaked based on menu specs. You know, just depending what kind of things they specify. They might say, oh, the embroidery area can only be this big, or who knows. I just at least want some designs to send to them and see what they say about them, right? The sheet's kind of too boring to tape in here, I think. It's just like, it'll just cover stuff, but it's a huge white piece, so I don't think I'm gonna put that in there. I mean, I could draw something on it. <laughs> okay, am I gonna go work on this next design now? Or am I gonna... Like, I don't know, I was expecting to do some doodles, but now I'm like in the book. I got book on the brain. Now I kind of want to go work on that. Because I got to know what I'm doing with the mushroom one, and I'm not gonna know until I start on this one. Yeah, I just must. I must work on this right now. I just, I need to. I must. Need to as in I really want to, but... You know, I guess for the timeline that works out well as well. Because I do need to design the end pages too. So there's there's a bit of work yet. I just pulled out these Thousand One Nights books because it made me think of them. Because <laughs> they have cloth covers and they've got the patterned end pages. So that's what I mean by that is not only doing the cover, but doing this interior page. And then of course the rest will be blank, but... Yeah, oh. <gasps> should I do gold edges? Dude, I mean, maybe certain designs it would suit it. <laughs> I don't think the gold edges would really suit the embroidered look. Maybe it'd be better for a future design that has gold stamping on it. Oh, there's so many possibilities. I just wanna make them really pretty and make the, the you know, the specs something I like in terms of like the paper thickness and uh, like square, all that kind of stuff.
Okay, so here's where we're at. I had to tweak the colors a little bit because I'm selecting from Pantone colors. And so, for example, the leaves were originally this shade of green, but they're gonna have to be a little bit more on the blue side. I, I toyed around with this green, but I think it's just too green. I'd rather have a slight blue green. So original, new, original, new. The yellow was pretty much spot on. I literally cannot see a difference at all when I toggle that on and off. And then my green hoop was originally this color and it's now this color, which is, I don't know, I'm, I'm torn if it's too bright or not, but that's where we're at. And I don't know what I wanna put in the middle of the design. Don't know if I wanna do corners. I did originally sketch a flower in the middle, just another daisy, but I'm just kinda of torn. It could say sketch and then on the other line book, but I don't know if that's, I don't know if I want to label what it is, because what if someone wants to use it as something else? So I don't know if it should be text, if it should be a little image. I'm still trying to decide, but uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so this is the final look for this one. I opted to do the text that says create. I did draw out a big daisy, but I don't like the look of it as much. And I even sketched out other things like, I don't know, I tried different animals or like I did a butterfly, but didn't like it. Uh, this is okay, but I feel like it's just too many of the daisies. I feel like it's just too many. And I like the idea of one of them having text in it, and it just says create. It doesn't say sketchbook, notebook. There's nothing to force you one way or another. It just says create. And then for the mushroom one, since I the pastel one was a completed ring, like because the, the, the earthy one was originally just half of it, uh, so I converted it to the full version. And looking at it like this, I like this more. I just... I think I am gonna go with the earthy version and I'm gonna save this for another design. I was pasting the colors in here and converting them to Pantone colors and I didn't draw anything. I named it Sketchbook Moon Stars and then I was like, well, actually I'm not gonna do that right now because I only wanna do two for this initial uh, launch of the sketchbook. So I'm gonna do the mushroom and this one. Do, 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 do. Do, yeah, yeah, Kiki. And I can use that cute pastel color scheme somewhere else. It's time for some turkey nuggies. My mom got us this adorable bee break, bee, bee baker for Christmas. This Costco brie might be a little too big. <laughs> How celestial! <laughs> uh oh, it's still too big. <laughs> We have some pita chips and pretzel crisps for the brie. I'm just gonna put these away for now though. This will be for later tonight. Nuggies are served. So a couple days ago, I got a Christmas package from a friend in the mail and it included these hot chocolate bombs. <sighs> Wait, this one, I swear it's been cracking open yesterday. I'm actually surprised how well they survived the journey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to decide which one to eat. Is this cookies and cream? Let me sniff it. I don't know. I don't know. What, what one do I go with? Let's try one of these. It's got some extra hot chocolate mix on the outside. Look how cute that is. It's got little mini chocolate chips, the marshmallows, and a little red thing. It says to put it in your cup and then pour the hot water on it. The lighting in here is not very good. I'll give it a go. I think I'm gonna go back to sketching or like just doodling in my notebook, my sketchbook. I really cannot speak today. I'm gonna go back to doodling in my sketchbook like I was going to do earlier before I got sidetracked by the, ske the, the sketchbook covers. Whoa. This gonna be good. So yeah, these are by Everything Tastes Better Homemade. Woohoo! Woohoo! Look at these little rascals. It's not treat time yet. Although it is treat time for me. It'd be kind of rude to eat this hot chocolate in front of you. It's only half an hour away from their treat time. Okay, you can have treats now. Okay. Okay. Oh goodness. I like how these wireless earbuds let me listen to a live stream while I vlog. <laughs> that way if he gets the shiny, I won't miss it. Just a pre-market nines.
I like to watch his shiny hunting streams. Okay, anyway, let's taste let's taste test this. Ooh, that is good. Okay, let's play around with these Muji pens. My angle feels so weird here. What's coming on? But let's think of the those end pages for the books. Let's just think about that for a second. So if the cover of the flower one is blue, it'd be kind of nice if the interior spread was white. So there'd be this little blue border we would see. This is that page that's glued onto the cover. I guess we don't need to draw the cover in on that side really. But yeah, it could just be a teeny tiny flower pattern, like a bunch of the teeny tiny daisies. Probably even smaller than this. <laughs> The IRL size would probably be like this at most. Keeping it small and it's kind of tricky though. So if those are white and that's yellow, I wouldn't really want to leave the page white. I guess it could be a cream color or it could also be navy. I mean the navy I'm not that opposed to, but like I said, I don't really want the same color as the cover or green. Sweet, we're making some great progress here by just listing a bunch of potential options and not going with any of <laughs> them. I feel like cream or green would look good. I'm gonna have to try it out before I know for sure. And I would want some, my logo somewhere in there too. I don't know if I wanna have a little place for you to put your name or something, or a little title, because there could be a little tag. Maybe something cute and a little bit ornate. Maybe, maybe not even any lines, just leave it blank for people to write in. And down here there could be a little thing that maybe says Bailey J or maybe a slightly longer blurb. I keep telling myself I'm gonna doodle random stuff and then I just start drawing the sketchbook stuff. <laughs> I'm just excited about it. It's, I don't know, these projects are always fun. I swear once you start manufacturing things, it's like an addiction. You're like, okay, what can I make next? It's just so satisfying seeing your ideas come to life. It's like I get this high from it every time I make something new. <laughs> So yeah, little pattern, a place for people to add some kind of label, my name at the bottom. And then the back will be the same except without the labels thing. The mushroom design can be the same, but with a mushroom pattern. So I chose my official start time for the Friday streams as 10 a.m. instead of 11, since I won't be editing vlogs that morning. Although this week I do have to, so maybe I should get a head start on editing that tonight because otherwise I won't have time to do the whole thing in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, instead of doing four hours on Tuesday and six on Friday, I'm doing 10 hours on Friday. Plus, of course, the possibility of extension, but I'll do the four hours of creative, then the six hours of gaming. So they're just on the same day now. Same amount of scheduled hours, just all on the same day. Just want to re-outline this now with the blue... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's the right one. Thought I grabbed the wrong pen. <coughs> Baby. Why are you so needy? That S is a bit wonky. Yeah, I don't think I can really do much else. I gotta start editing, which I did not realize. Not the one you're watching right now. I gotta edit the previous one still. And I've done half the editing. That should help a lot tomorrow because I only will have about an hour to edit in the morning. Mm. 
chunkies. Like soggy chunkies. <laughs> it's just chocolate, Bailey. It's just chocolate. Probably a bit of marshmallow. It's like pulp. But I like pulp in my orange juice. This is just like the chocolate milk equivalent, I guess. <laughs> when the brie overflows and makes a mess in the oven. <laughs> So finished off the evening eating cheese and playing Fall Guys and I won three times. Oh yeah! Including the very last round I just did. It was like one of those just one more round things and Christian was watching and I won. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm off to bed so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Been looking everywhere for the bottom drawer. Where is it? Right there. Right there. <sighs>